hey, um, we're going to be practicing here at 6 p.m. Don't forget, um, I'll be there around 6 o'clock. And they never responded back to me. And as well as I respond, I, I reached out to uh, another client. Um, they didn't tell me what day they wanted to do, but I just told them, like, hey, are you, you, you guys still interested on wanting to train? And they never responded back. So I'm in this process right now of just trying to look for clients and just trying to start it off mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, and that's what basically what I'm struggling on because what I want to do with my clients and all that stuff, I know what to do. Like when it comes to drills and preparing, mm -hmm. preparing them, um, and stuff like that, I can do that, but it's just, I guess me just wanting to like get clients. So that way they can know that, okay, you know, he's, he's true about his work. You know, he knows what he's doing and stuff like that. Um, I think just, like I said, just the, the only thing right now is just getting clients together really, really kind of struggling right now. I'm just trying to get clients and how how to spread the word without posting it on social media. Cause I have been watching um, on how to like start it off. But, um, and I, and I did see that you, you are really good at like talking to people on zoom and stuff like that. So I just wanted to reach out to you and see mm -hmm. if you have it for, for me that I can use. So that way I can, you know, get more clients and as well just start up my business on the right path. Now, as far as getting clients, I could sit on this call for, the rest of the day and give you just like, go do this, go do this, go do like, I could give you a million different ways to get clients at the beginning. The only thing that matters is getting one person and getting them into your program. So for example, and I, I think this will help you, like, you know, how you like had your flyer and then people were like texting you. Right. Right. So with that, the, the next time you do that, if you do a flyer, when someone texts you, like, instead of texting them back, like, here's what we're going to do. Just say, great. Let me give you a call at this time or this time on this day or this day. So you get them onto a phone call and not going back and forth on text. Cause it's hard to get money from parents going back and forth on text. Cause like they, at that moment, you're just like a random person. They saw a flyer. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you look like. They don't know anything. And I know for me, if I see a flyer and I take it and I text the person, if I don't end up talking to that person on the phone, there's no way they're going to get anything from me. So I would flip it to where you stay in control of the conversation by moving them to a phone call. That's the first thing that I would let you do. So this comes down to sales. So this comes down to knowing what you're selling, uh, putting a price tag behind it, knowing what you're offering. These are all things that I teach coaches in my program. Um, and these are all things you can learn if you're not in my program, right? Like you don't have to join my program to learn those things. Uh, but that's the first thing I would tell you is like the fundamentals is we want to be able to sell over the phone, like where people can hear you, not by texting or by emailing or by sending message on social media. Cause like that stuff can work, but it, it's harder for that to work with people who haven't paid you money yet. Does that make sense? Right. Right. Um, so that, that's kind of the first thing. And then when I think about strategies, right. I think the easiest possible way to get clients at the very beginning, it comes down to, and like most coaches don't want to do this when I tell them, but like, it comes down to just being like, all right, today is August 17th, right? Mm. The best way you can do this is say, I will have at least one client by September 1st. So like give yourself a goal and it's like, I will do this by this date. And if you have a clear cut goal like that, then you have a timeline. And when you have a timeline, that's not putting pressure on yourself, but that, that makes you think about it more and it makes you take more action. It makes you do things that most people won't do. Cause like, if there's no time constraint, it's like, well, you know, this might take me a year to get my first client. You can get a client though. In the next two weeks, if you just put your head down you're like, all right, let's go market myself. Let's go get somebody. All right. So if I was you, the first thing I would do is I would call both of those people who texted you because they're leads. And when they don't pick up, I'd leave them a, a strong voicemail. That's like, Hey, I'd love for you guys to come check out my program. I know you didn't get back to me. Um, that's okay. Like, do you want to come for a free session this week? 
put the ball back in their court. Those are two leads right there that you already have, right? Then what I would do is, um, like if it was me, let's say I moved to Dallas, no one knows who I am in Dallas except for you, <laughs> right? Uh, if I go there, no one knows me. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all of like the soccer, because I'm in soccer, I'm going to go to all the soccer facilities. Okay. Anyone that does uh, leagues, anyone that does um, tournaments, anyone that has like any sort of um, influence within soccer, I'm just going to start going to talk to people and say, hey, here's what I do. I would love to try to put on a free camp or free clinic for your team, for your organization. So I could go to any YMCA, any high school, any middle school, any private school, any church. Um, I could like anybody has a potential to get like in a 30 day period, they can get in front of over a hundred parents and a hundred kids easy. That comes down to sales and how to talk to people. Right. Right. Um, so I, that's where I start though. I start with building my contact list of people locally in the city that already have influence over parents or kids. Now, if I can do that, then I can demonstrate my coaching. And if my coaching is good enough, then some of those people will want more training. See how that works. Mm -hmm. So I would do that. The other thing I would do too, um, which some coaches think this is a stupid idea, but it works is you can go to other people who are doing private basketball training already mm. and just be like, Hey, uh, I recently started my business. I'm looking to run some upcoming camps and clinics with other basketball trainers in the area. So if you need, if you need a hand, if you, you need someone to come help you, like I'm here, I'm available. I would love to come help you at any sort of upcoming clinic that you run. Now you're not doing that to go steal their clients. You're doing that to link up with someone who already has influence over other kids. See how that works? Yeah. So, so what you have to try to do is when you go into a relationship with any of these coaches or any of these organizations, like it only works if you go in with a giving hand. If you're like, cause this is what I used to at the beginning. I was like, Hey, I'm a private soccer trainer. Do you have any clients or do you have any kids that I can train? And if someone doesn't know me, they're like, who the heck is this guy? Right. Like, why am I going to just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wake up in the morning and go feed this guy clients. No. So I had to change it and be like, what can I give to them? How can I get them to trust me? What, what value am I providing for them? If, if there's nothing I can provide them, then there's nothing that they're going to be able to, like, I can't do anything with them. Then what's the point. Right. Right. Um, and it's the same way. Like if, if we reverse engineer this phone call right now, like you probably saw one of my free YouTube videos, right? Yeah. Got onto my email list probably, or you have my phone number. I have given you probably a ton of stuff for free at this point. And you felt comfortable enough texting me today, asking me to get on a call. And I am some random person, right? <laughs> right. Okay. And by, because I put myself out there and that could be you marketing. That could be you going on Facebook and, and, and linking up with parents. That could be you doing videos. I mean, there, again, there's so many different things you can do to market yourself. At the end of the day though, the only thing that matters is getting your first client. Cause when you have your first client, you have the self-belief when someone pays you the first time, you have the self-belief that you can now do this over and over and over again.